<laughs> Alright, everything is as cheap as. Total apocalypse for 10 bits. Impossible. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> The world is ending! Is this not the perfect personification of America right here? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious right now, but I love the concept of allowing your viewers to interact with your stream. It's just so much more fun when people can click a few buttons or throw money at you and stuff happens in real time. And we've covered programs like Streamer, Bot, and Lure and Board that can activate a filter in OBS or change your camera angles or change scenes or do all that sort of stuff. But what about interacting with the actual game that you're playing? Like, let's just say you're playing GTA 5 and you get into a car crash. Just let your viewers repair your car for you. Or maybe you want to jump really high. Your viewers can give you bits and bam, now you're in the NBA. Or maybe you just got shot and you're dying. Your viewers can set you on fire. <laughs> Well, you can do all of that thanks to a thing called Chaos Tricks. It's an extension for Twitch that adds this nice little bit menu with all these different in-game effects. And all your viewers need to do is click on the effect that they want, they'll send you bits, and it will trigger that effect in real time. We tried this on my stream a few months ago with Minecraft, and I never even played Minecraft, but man, my viewers, you guys, you guys are cool asshole. people. I'm new. I'm a newbie. Imagine planet activate self explosion for 300 Pokemon Pearl activate cooked food for 15 bits. <laughs> so let's talk about how the extension works and how you can get it set up on your own stream. All right, so straight up, this video is sponsored by Chaos Tricks. Very sponsored. But it's one of those cool deals where the thing that I'm promoting doesn't even cost you guys anything anyway, so I don't have to feel bad about it. Kind of, we'll get it to cost a little bit later. If you're too impatient, you can skip to the next chapter. First, we need to talk about how Chaos Tricks even works. So if you wanna try it out, check out their website. It's linked down below and you're going to need to do two things. Number one, check out my face. I look so happy even though I'm dead inside. And number two, you need to get the Twitch extension. So just click this button here, click on install. And then in the my extensions tab, click on activate under chaos tricks. What this will do is it will install an overlay above your stream that your viewers will see and it works instantly. And the overlay is gonna display all the different effects that your viewers can trigger along with the number of bits that they need to spend to trigger that effect. Now, Chaos Tricks supports a bunch of different games. I'll show the full list that's currently supported as of the making of this video, but it supports mostly modern games. So you got things like Minecraft, GTA, Dota, Witcher, and they're gonna add support for more games in the future as well. In fact, they are planning to release an update that supports Tarkov and Fallout 4. Now, I did say that Chaos Tricks is free, and it is, in fact, there's no way to even give them money even if you wanted to. However, it is a Twitch extension, which means that for every bits that you spend, 20% of that goes back to the developer. So let's just say one of your viewers spends 100 bits, you'll get 80 cents and 20 cents goes back to Chaos Tricks. This is the way that every extension works, by the way. This is not something specific to Chaos Tricks. Every Twitch extension has an 80-20 split which I think is more than fair. I mean, the developers did spend the time and the resources to make this platform for you. Plus, if you think about it, your viewers are gonna be spending money and giving you guys money that they might not otherwise give you without these incentives. So I think this is a win-win situation for everyone. Just to give you guys an idea, I did a single Minecraft stream and I made over $100 and I don't even play Minecraft. Now, you do need to set up the Chaos Tricks program itself on your PC. This is what's gonna connect your Twitch account to your game, and it's also gonna be where you set all the different prices for all your different effects. Obviously, every single game is different, so the setup process is gonna vary depending on the game that you're playing, but no matter what game you're playing, you are gonna connect your Twitch account. So just click on the cog, click on connect, and then authorize your Twitch account. Then just choose the game that you wanna play on the side and follow the instructions for that game. For example, if you wanna set up Minecraft, you just link your Minecraft directory, install all of the mods that it asks you to, and then you're pretty much good to go. So at this point, Chaos Tricks should have linked your game to your Twitch account, 
So all that's left to do is set all the different prices for all the different effects that you want. This page here shows all the different effects for the game you have selected, and the number is the number of bits that your viewers need to spend to trigger that effect. So you can just change the numbers all the way down here. You can make it more expensive if you want more money from your viewers, or you can make it really low if you just want your viewers to just go absolutely ham and destroy your life. You can change these prices whenever you want, by the way. It updates in real time, so you don't need to restart the program or the game or anything like that. Once you change the numbers on this menu here, your viewers will instantly see the new price. You can also turn on and off individual effects if you want. So if you're sick of being launched into the sky and exploded like fireworks, you can just turn that effect off. They also have presets for different difficulty levels. So you can set the prices for all your different effects all at once rather than doing them one at a time. Plus you can make your own presets. And then they have a bunch of other settings that you can check out for yourself. They got a test menu here so you can test each of the different effects without having to pay money for them. Timmy, Timmy thing it activate random jockey for 399 bits. And then they also have text to speech so you can hear every time someone redeems something in your headphones. But that's the gist of how it works. It's pretty simple to set up. So let's talk about how Chaos Tricks compares to other alternatives because I am aware that there are other ways that you can have your viewers take control over your game. The one most people probably know about is crowd control. And even though crowd control does a very, very similar thing to Chaos Tricks, there are some pretty big differences. Number one is pretty obvious, but they both support totally different games. So Chaos Tricks tries to focus more on modern trending games, whereas Crowd Control is mostly geared towards retro games. So obviously if the game that you wanna play is only supported by one of them, then just, just use that one because you have no other option. But the second difference is I think pretty huge. See with Chaos Tricks, your viewers can spend bits directly to trigger effects. Whereas with crowd control, they have this whole coin system where you have to exchange bits for coins. So your viewers have to go through this whole process of exchanging real money for a virtual currency for another virtual currency before they can finally spend it to trigger the effect that they want. Chaos Tricks is pretty nice because it removes that whole middleman option. So you can just buy your bits directly from Twitch and then whatever bits you already have, you can just go ahead and spend whatever you want for the different effects in the menu. No exchanging for this weird coin system that you have to understand how it all works. It's just, it's very straightforward. Another option that some people have told me about is StreamerBot. It turns out that some people have written some custom code that can connect StreamerBot to certain games, which the one that I know about is Minecraft. So this is pretty cool because StreamerBot is not a Twitch extension, which means that 100% of the money that your viewers give you, you can keep all of that money. So you don't need to do like an 80-20 split with the developers. You just keep everything. It's 100% profit. The downside is it's a lot more complicated. You need to understand how StreamerBot works. It also doesn't support nearly as many games as Crowd Control or Chaos Tricks. But more importantly, your viewers don't get that cool little bit menu above your stream. So they kind of have to jump through more hoops to trigger the effects that they want which is just gonna discourage them from actually wanting to trigger the effects in the first place. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some things that I'd like to see come from Chaos Tricks. For example, I'd really like to see if they can support channel points. So that way my viewers have a way of interacting with my game without having to spend real money for Fortunately, it. Fortunately, Chaos Tricks did confirm that channel point integration is coming. Plus, they are gonna support sub events as well. So when people sub to your channel, you can have different events happen too. And then honestly, just, support more games. At the moment, the games that are supported work really well. They just need to add more games to it. Me personally, I would love if they could add support for The Sims. I don't know, I haven't told them about it, but I want that. I don't know if that's possible, but if they if they add support for The Sims, I'm gonna be all over this. Anyway, go out and try Chaos Tricks for yourself. The link is down below. It is a referral link. I don't actually know why. I don't know if I get a cut from that. Cause like you don't, I, I have no idea how that works. Just use my link. I don't know what benefit I get out of that, but it would be cool if you just use mine. Also leave a comment down below and let me know what game would you like to see supported by Chaos Tricks? I'm sure the guys at Chaos Tricks would love to hear what you guys think. Plus I, I think it'd be cool if you just said something. Also come follow me on Twitch. I stream three nights a week. If you want to ask me any questions, you can ask me there. And if you wanted to support me with, you know, real people money, I am on Patreon now, so you can come, you can toss me some money there. 
Uh, plus, if you sub at the $10 tier or more, you can get some of the widgets that I've made for my own stream. I've now made those available to you guys. So uh, yeah, go check that out and um, I'll see you guys uh, whenever the next video is done. I've already recorded it, so I know what it is. I just need to edit it now, but uh, I'll see you guys next time, yeah? Yeah?